Alright folks, this is Pitching Ace 88, we're back playing Criminal Case on Facebook, this is case number 10, Under the Knife. Figured out who, what the weapon that killed him was, figured out, I haven't figured out the killer, although I have an idea. Maybe we should go back to the church, don't you think? Sir, one of our snitches reported having seen Joshua Kemp loitering near the church on the night of the crime. Joshua Kemp? What the? I don't think it's him. Let's see. Who, let me guess who it is. I think it's her. But let's let's figure that. We'll figure it out. I'm sure. Let's see if we can find anything. Send it to my to my buddies, who are awesome. Give me five hints every single time. I didn't know churches and surveillance use surveillance cameras. Good intuition, Ace. And I'm assuming we're probably gonna need to get it analyzed, of course. Let's go ahead and talk to Joshua about this. What do you mean I was loitering near the church? Am I loitering right now, just to make sure? I did walk past the church yesterday evening. I was on my way to Miss Warner's. She lives across the street from it. Oh god, don't tell me you're also seeing her. What do you mean seeing? Miss Warner is an excellent customer, and as such, she gets priv the privilege of house calls. Oh, thanks for clearing that up, Joshua. Care for a cup of coffee before you leave? Finally, some respect. I will gladly have a cup of coffee, thank you. Everyone drinks coffee. Ramirez will hear from me. I can't believe you never told us Samantha lived right next to the church. Which means we gotta go talk to Samantha. I can't believe Alan was murdered in that church. We're thinking his killer might have stopped by your place either before or after the murder. Did you see anyone that night? I was with Curtis, but we weren't at my place. We spent the evening at the golf club. Seriously, is it something in the water? Does everyone in this town play golf? Maybe we should get a membership. I don't think she plays golf. I think she is with someone who plays golf. I think there's a big difference between that. But anyways, guys, I need to wait six hours, so I will see you guys back here. This has been Pitching Against 88, over and out. What up, everybody? Let's head over, finish this off. The camera's view was limited, but I still found out a few interesting things. Alan enters the church at 9 p.m. Five minutes later, he starts arguing with someone standing off camera. Things get heated and Alan gets stabbed with a candlestick. A man then kneels next to him and pushes something into his mouth. The video is too grainy to make out his face, but I'm sure two things. Your killer is a man, judging by the hand with which he's struck, he's right-handed. Ace, cursed has already told us he's left-handed. I guess this rules him out. Uh, yes it does. So it looks like... Ah, uh, yeah, let's figure out what the heck he was doing on the night of the murder. Oh, this guy. Huh. Wait, oh, yeah, we don't know if he's right-handed or not. What did I do on the night of the murder? I was coming back from a golf tournament. See, I even won this pendant for 
best right-handed swing that day, and what a day it was. But of course, it's terribly sad Alan happened to die that day too. Hey, I, th I think we finally have everything we need to make an arrest. I'll let you handle things, Ace. Well, thank you. Okay, we, you know what, before we arrest the killer, let's look at suspects. He's right-handed, golf, he's wearing glasses, and he's male. Well, the killer is a man, so that rules her out, rules her out. He wears glasses, but he doesn't play golf. So it's this guy. Let's arrest him. I did not see that coming. It was kind of late. Who would have guessed? Oh, I mean, obviously I didn't guess right. Mr. Oster, you're under arrest for the murder of Alan Cardwell. Based on what exactly? You've got nothing against me. I bet you won't look so smug when we show the court the fingerprints we found on the murder weapon. You lie, there weren't any prints on that candlestick. Ah, eh, good job, you caught my bluff. But how did you know the murder weapon was a candlestick? Nobody but us knew that fact. Uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you can say will be used against you in a court of law. Yes, I killed him, and I would kill him again. That sex craze, capitalist pig, who doesn't care about inequalities as long as he can have some fun. And I chose that filthy church to do it because it represents all the hypocrisy of this promiscuous society. Wow, your reasons do not interest this court. You repeatedly threatened the victim and clearly premeditated his murder. What's more, the fact that you deliberately chose a place of worship to commit your crime is abhorrent. Abhorrent? But I did it to protect Samantha. Don't you understand? I love her. I did this all for love. Silence. This court hereby sentences you to life in jail. May this time help you reflect on the true value of this love you speak. The people's sentences are getting worse and worse. Probably good. I mean, they're all killing people, but... You know, it used to be like 10 to 20 years, 20 years of life. But anyways, guys, stick around. We're going to do the additional investigation in case number 10. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Over and out.